moon. It's a new season. So here's the first match preview for Minnesota United versus FC Dallas, Saturday, February 25th at Toyo Stadium. Uh, 7.30 p.m. kickoff. Of course, now under the uh, Apple uh, TV, MLS Season Pass. Of course, we know all about this FC Dallas team. We went out in uh, the first round of the playoffs on penalties to them. Um, of course, we already know what a great squad Dallas have with Paul Ariola, Jesus Pereira, Sebastian Majette, Fashion Pomacall, um, Alan Glasgow. You know, Nico Estevez really, thing really turned Dallas around, you know, in, in his uh, second second season. Um, you know, it's, it's always very hard, you know, to, especially knowing that uh, what their uh, academy and who they have produced is, you know, um, you know, Weston McKenney, uh, Ricardo Pepe, um, you know, it's just, this is phenomenal, and, and, you know, it's something, you know, I hope, you know, Minnesota, uh, does, you know, trust in the youth and the things, but we definitely are now starting to get younger, um, of course, Minnesota, we come into this off of a, a preseason where we went, uh, one win, one draw, four losses. Um, as you know, you touch on, but you know, um, you know, Ring also suspended without pay, uh, still not showing up. I'm like I said, I'm not gonna talk much. I'm just, I hope that he's either good to you know, help you leave your. Or, 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 whatever, really. Um, and it seems like we really need to improve with our final uh, third. I think he'd said that we're looking to bring in two to three more attackers. Um, and I think he says, uh, he said that I think uh, Arianda, Rosales, and Amaria are all uh, back um, getting process of getting their green cards and that would clear up uh, th uh, uh, three international slots uh, for the possibility of uh, possibly um, buying down Amaria's contract off of a DP we can uh, open a D uh, DP I think uh, we brought in some really good pieces um, you know Clint Irwin uh, he's a good good backup um, like I said, Tyler Miller, when he came in, it was really good. But you know, uh, I, I'm I'm still think you know we should have got if we would have got we would have gotten some money for him. Should have sold him in the secondary transfer market last trade or tra tra uh, trade uh, tra uh, traded him away. Um, Tapas, who seems like uh, really good. I mean, another left footer because we really didn't really replace Debasi when he went down, and we kind of tanked after uh, he went down and dripped the rest of the season. Um, Marquise, the young uh, Swedish center back, I think they say he's going to be. I think. Uh, Really, really good. Uh, Dondell Henry, another. Seems like we have quite a bit, and I feel like, you know, with this, we can possibly even play, like, like people said, they've, behind closed doors, they've experienced playing three at the back. Um, Zarek Valentine, um, I think, guy that, I think he's, out uh, from everybody that says he's a locker, locker room guy, he, you know, he loves 
you know he's uh, he's loved by everybody at the that the club that that he's been at uh ryan viva of course i remember uh was fantastic for you in omaha when we went out in the u.s open cup definitely really exciting um cameron dunbar um you know, definitely, definitely some of those guys, you know, I think the majority of those guys are, you know, young and uh, really, really good. Um, so with that, I am going to get into my starting 11 for this game. Um between the sticks I mean I said it's, it's DSC uh, just I mean this guy is I love I think he's gonna be a great I mean he is a great keeper and he's only just getting start you know started and you know I could I've talked to some of my friends in, in England and said, you know, there are some who feel like players that could go over and play in Europe and goalkeepers are always really hard to to gauge, but I think, you know, we really have a gem on our hand with DSC ever since, you know, he's really emerged. Um, left back, uh, Kamar Lawrence. Uh I think he's been a great, uh, great pickup last year. Um, center back pairing. Uh, I think Debasi is still out, so it will be uh, Tapas and Boxall. Um, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I, I mean, what, what, what haven't I said about Michael Boxall? I mean, that guy is. I think. Mean, We'll go. I think he'll go down as like a Minnesota legend, and and, and not just the lo the love he has for the fan uh, fans. Um, you know, all he's you know always playing his best, and then um, at right back, um, is it? I think DJ Taylor has kind of had a little bit of tendon uh, tendonitis. Um, we also have. Uh, Benitez, and then we also have Valentin. Um, so, I mean, if if I had to pick strong, DJ Taylor, one hundred percent. I think the he's he's been phenomenal, and I think we need to. I think uh, we need to offer him a, a multi uh, multi year. Uh, contract and uh, get him down uh, you know tie him down this was really hard because I was going you know without you know right now so kind of you know do we go 4-3-3 or we still go our 4-2-3-1 our um, I think we go 4-3-3 so I'm sitting in kind of that Number, uh, you know, kind of the more defensive. Uh, I think you go, uh, either like, uh, will I think you go will trap. Um, I, I could see us potentially after this one potentially, um. Let uh let letting go of will and maybe doing uh uh uh, uh uh Rosales there um and then of course I think another one there uh, Robin Lude um I think you know he's definitely since he's come in I think bring last season how important he is. Um, and then next to him, uh, I think they said, he said that, uh, Rosales and Ariaga should be, I think, back 
uh, that should be available for this uh, for this game. Um, I, uh, I I really like that you know we picked up uh, we did buy Rosales and I think our Ar- Ariaga you know I think he's just coming into his prime he looked r- really good as and then even on set on on set pieces as well um I'm uh, this one is because uh Dotson uh he got his for uh he got his I think he got 15 minutes in our uh last preseason game uh so th- that's even going to be a harder for uh to pick a, a, a midfield because it feels like Dotson is going to go r- right in um right uh right in with I think Trapper Ludafoo playing a f- a, f- a 4 3 3 um yeah no and then uh front 3 Fregapane um Amaria and Bangigule Halongwe um I'm really I think ex- expecting a little bit more out of uh Bongi uh, th- uh this season he's he's definitely really really fast um I mean yeah no so that's uh my starting 11 as far as a game match you know prediction you know I'd like to say a win but without Reynoso and us having trouble really finishing chances. I mean, at this point, I'd say I'd be happy with a draw, a win. I don't know how we could pull that off against an uh, FC Dallas team like this, but I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm. Th- I'm like. I feel like. It's either going to be one point or, or 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 none, in 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 my honest opinion. And then, of course, you know, uh, we have uh, the uh, week two off, uh, a bye week. So that is going to do this for this match, uh, first match preview of the 2023 MLS season for Minnesota United. Make sure you like the video, comment your predicted starting 11, what your thoughts, you know, what your thoughts on on the upcoming season are, um, you know, regarding, um, you know, the the additions we've made. Um, Like I said, subscribe. Uh, follow my Twitter so you know what uh, you know what I'm uh, up to um, and that's that's gonna do it uh, so uh, come on you loons <laughs>